We continue our tour of a Buffalo landmark being prepared for restoration by developer Clifford Jones, the 19th century Buffalo Catholic Institute at Main and Virginia Streets. In our previous segment, we learned that some 8,500 square feet of the first floor will be converted into a large mercantile area. Balconies will be added for possible restaurant use, and the rest will be subdivided for business use by tenants. I could see a stairway up toward the second floor. Uh, what else, do, what do we have out here leading to it? Now this is the main entrance to the building. Oh, okay. Wow, was this all one entrance? Yes, now this area here is the building's main entrance vestibule. Uh-huh. It leads right into the elevator lobby. Right. Uh, behind me here, behind this plywood is going to be a couple of full height, about 12 foot high, oak paneled doors to match the existing original doors that were here. All the stained glass will be restored completely. All the wrought iron work here is going to be cleaned up and restored, as well as all the side lights will be reglazed. What street are we facing here? That's Virginia Street, oh. right at the corner of Maine. Right. Now, what about the stairways? Well, the stairways are coming out. Okay. There's no need for those. Uh, the new stairs are going to be in the, in the core area, and uh, this will just become one large entrance vestibule. Well, all the ornate plaster work is going to be rebuilt and restored and uh, it'll be pretty much the way it was originally when we're done with it. What are these pipes on the, on the stairway? Well, those were gas lanterns uh -huh. that had been uh, salvaged throughout the years and reused somewhere else probably. The building was all gas at that time? Yeah, it was all gas lighting originally I throughout see. the building. I also noticed a... Um, uh, a plaque on the wall of Buffalo Catholic Institute, 1867. The group was organized in 1867, and the construction of this was in 1898, completed. Mm -hmm. Fine. Well, I see we have a <laughs> shaky stairway. Are we okay to get up there? Is that the second floor? Oh, that's, that'll, that'll hold us. Okay. Without let's, any question. Let's take a look. Cliff, this is magnificent. What do we have here? Well. This room, about 3,500 square feet, was originally used as a lecture hall. Uh-huh. And this? Well, that was the stage. Uh -huh. uh, you can envision all the statesmen and... Uh, the actors and actresses. Sure. sure. Politicians. Yep, and politicians lecturing to a crowd in this room. What our intentions are is to restore all the deteriorated plaster work. Mm-hmm install a balcony on the back side of this room mm -hmm. uh, to provide for upper and lower private office areas. We're going to cut in a number of windows along this wall here. How about the woodwork? And we're replacing and restoring all the woodwork. Cliff, there's quite a span in this room and I noticed you don't have any pillars. Well, that's right. The entire area above this room is supported at by both sides here, the columns on both sides of this room, and it's clear span. So that just shows that it's a very heavily built building. It sure is. Is the next room similar to this? Well, it's very similar. The next room over was the public library, okay. which is made up of about five different rooms. Let's take a look at that. Okay. Well, Fran, this is the library section of the building. It's made up out of uh, four or five rooms here. The three front rooms were the children's library, the librarian's room, and a study. Behind us here is the, uh, were the bookshelves, and uh, I'm sure there were a lot of tables and chairs. What do you envision in here? Well, we're going to insert a balcony level Again, for private offices, mm -hmm. below and above, overlooking the bullpen area. The workforce area again, I yeah. see. It'll be made up out of uh, steel beam and concrete deck, mm -hmm. uh, just the way the rest of the building's been made up. I see the windows look sort of new. Well, those are the, the retrofitted uh, window units. Mm -hmm. They're the original frames, the original sash, with uh, new insulated glazing 
to bring them up to the uh, energy standards and uh, to provide maximum ener energy efficiency. Now, speaking of energy efficiency, what about heating and cooling? Okay. The heating and cooling systems will be a uh, water source heat pump, which is the, the most efficient state-of-the-art uh, product available today. For the entire building? Yeah, the whole building will, will be uh, serviced by that. It'll be all individually controlled by the occupants and... it's uh, great. Yeah. Now, you have another floor. Can we take a look? Sure. A look at the third floor of this 19th century Buffalo landmark in our next segment as Cliff Jones continues our restoration tour of the former Buffalo Catholic Institute at Main and Virginia Streets. Some changes, man. 